Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Monica, if this is your first time here. In today's video, I am simply packing orders for my small business, Pretty Nail Boss. I created some vinyl stickers using my Cricut Maker, and um, I use these to decorate my boxes. And I do this so that my customers and clients are excited once they receive their package in hand. I'm one of those people who enjoys going above and beyond for um, for my customers and I do my absolute best to show that when I'm packing my items up for shipment. I just want the unboxing experience to be an actual experience, okay? <laughs> and you know what I provide is like my own thing like if you're watching this and you have your own small business please don't feel like you have to do the same things as me or if you would like to do the same things that i'm doing that's totally fine but um don't get discouraged if you don't have a whole lot of extra to put in your boxes or if you don't have stickers and all that type of stuff that's just me making it original and just kind of putting my own little stamp on it but you can find other things to do just kind of make it your own but don't be discouraged if you see other people doing like really outlandish stuff for their clients it's like you you gotta have your own thing and if you want to take bits and pieces of what somebody else is doing and include that in what you're doing then that's totally fine what i'm doing right now is weeding well i finished weeding and now i'm cutting all the excess paper from around my sticker around the wording and stuff like that so that I can go ahead and transfer it on to the transfer paper and then from there I'm going to transfer it on to the flap on the box so that when my client receives the box and they open it that's like one of the first things that they see and um, I usually cut off all the excess around it because that way I won't have to use so much transfer paper when I'm doing it and the transfer paper that I use it's actually reusable so I can use that same one for the next package because the sticker will be the same size and so I'll use that same transfer paper and it won't go to waste. Another thing that I like to do is because um, I weeded my, um, I made a sticker with my Instagram handle on it and I weeded it and I'm actually going to transfer that onto the box as well because a lot of times when your package is going through and when it's in transit you know mayor carriers and um, post office post office workers and stuff they can see your packaging themselves and of course everybody keeps their phones on them and they might be interested in what pretty nail boss is so another way i market myself is by putting my instagram handle on my box and then if somebody is interested in what might be in that box they can just go to my handle and see what pretty nail boss is about and it's another way to lure in customers and then also um lure in followers as well so that's just a little that's just a little tip if you decide to use that but of course you don't have to you can do whatever you want to do but i do that and it has been very beneficial i will say and you know what, as I'm watching this playback, that just gave me an idea of a service I wanna start providing. So if you are interested in having your Instagram handle printed out on vinyl, because I have so much vinyl and there's so many different color varieties and stuff that you could choose from. If you decide you want to do this same method or um, the same method of putting your Instagram handle on your packaging and things like that that you send out to your clients and your customers I'm going to provide a service of that in the future I got to get the numbers and the details and all that together but um, if you would like to partake in that I will be offering that in the near future so be on the lookout for that So after I have finished putting the stickers on and everything, now it's time for me to fill up the box. And what I really love using is shredded paper 
it's not expensive and they have a variety of different colors and I usually try to use a color shredded paper that is synonymous with the theme of the box because I have different lip gloss bundle packs that are um, by color theme but for this particular one I wanted to be able to see I wanted the client to be able to see the colors that I was putting in there because this box is the green theme and so I didn't want to put a lot of um, green against green so I'm using white shredded paper this time and then now I'm filling it up with all the lip glosses that I have and I absolutely love this container that I keep my stuff in because it's clear and I can see everything and it's easy for me to pick out the stuff that I need it's right there it's sectioned off so it's not a whole bunch of an organization going. I love being organized. I do my absolute best to keep all my stuff organized. And so, um, yeah, that's how I do that. And then, as you can see, I got some key ring bling. I put some extras in there just as a thank you for my client, just to show some love. You know, who doesn't like free stuff? So, I went ahead and put them in an organza bag. And then I also put those inside of the bundle box as well. I like to give my clients unexpected gifts. It's, it's just kind of like a perk for shopping with me. And then I also put a thank you card in there just so I can show my clients how much I appreciate them for ordering with me. I usually don't put anything too lengthy in there, but I do want to make sure I tug on the heartstrings a little bit at least just so they know that it's actually a real person that's putting these orders together and not some kind of robotic machine. And like, I genuinely love doing this for people. And I absolutely love that I can do this for, you know, people that I never even met. And I appreciate people who actively shop with me that don't even know me, you know what I'm saying? It's just a really good feeling to be able to do this for people that you don't know and like, People see your stuff and they're like, dang, I want that. And they actually go and order from you. It's a dope experience. So just want to show my appreciation. Okay, so right here, what you see me doing is taking the contents out of the package. Even though I did put all the stuff in there and I closed it up and everything, I did a shake test and I heard some stuff moving around. So I had to open it up, take all the contents out and then put more shredded paper in there because the goal is to have your client see what you see when you when you um, place the stuff in there. So what I see when I close it is exactly what I want them to see when they open it. So if I do a shake test and I hear things moving around in there, that means while it's in transit, then it's gonna do a lot of shifting and that is not what you want. So, it's always good to check before you tape the box up and everything. It's always good to check and do a shake test before you seal everything so that it's not a whole bunch of different tape markings and stuff like that on there. And then once you find that it's good, you seal it up, you label it, and then if you like, you can add more stickers to the outside of the package, which is what I'm doing now. I'm gonna add some hearts on the outside of the box and even though i am putting this in a priority mailer envelope i'm gonna put more stickers on the outside of the box just because i like for my boxes to look cute and i want my packaging to be top tier for this i did different varieties of sizes of hearts um just because I didn't want all the same size on the outside of the box, I wanted to do a few different sizes because to me it looks cuter that way. And I also make sure not to put them directly underneath or on top of each other. You kinda wanna stagger them a little bit if you do decide to do this with um, your packaging and stuff because it'll just look neater. And I also made the stickers green, obviously because this is a green lip gloss bundle box so i wanted the stickers on the outside to go with the theme that's going on on the inside
taped up I do another little shake test just to make sure and it seems fine so I'm just gonna go ahead and set this one aside and get ready to package the next one I have for this order I'm going to use a pink bubble mailer instead of a box simply because it's a smaller order and using a box would be unnecessary when I use a bubble mailer I usually put a heart sticker on the outside of it just to add a little cuteness to it this order is for an eternity ring and my Coco Manga Lux moisturizing body oil when I get orders for rings I like to put them in a little organza bag because it's cute and if I have an order like this one where something else is included with it the organza bag kind of separates it from the other item y'all I absolutely love these rings they are so pretty and stunning I love how they shine all around no matter which way you wear it and listen you can be elegant and have nice jewelry without having to spend a whole lot okay <laughs> like it can be done next I get the body oil and place it into my holographic bag and y'all this body oil smells so good oh my goodness I literally can't get enough of it after that I add the ring to it and seal it up I place it in the mailer and get ready to write my thank you note and after writing the note I'll use my Rolo to print the shipping labels and add them onto the packages and that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this video do me a favor and leave me a comment let me know what part you enjoyed the most or what you plan on doing with your packages i would absolutely love to see them and read them follow pretty nail boss on insta pinterest and tiktok follow my personal page at the monica mcgee on insta twitter and tiktok as well interact with me y'all i would love to hear from you and support you as well so yeah do that please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one later